and this is your coil, here is your magnet and this is moving on a scale, this is your pointer. First let us see the construction part of it, N is, is the permanent magnet and here is your coil, it is wound on a soft iron core and this is a pointer, it is moving on a scale, plastic scale and the full setup is kept inside a chamber and there is a, a there is a, a phosphor bronson wire is there kept at this side, so that it would not move. So, the coil is kept inside a permanent magnet, so your magnetic field is uniform. In the principle we saw torque is equal to N into B I A cos alpha. For when there is a twist in the coil, imagine this as a coil, if it is twisted up to some extent, after that it will be coming back to the original position. For the deflecting torque is equal to restoring torque. So, what is your deflecting torque? N B I A cos alpha is equal to K into alpha and the K is the constant. For now, if you want to find your I, that will be K alpha divided by N B A cos alpha. Here you see K is the constant, N is the constant number of turns, B is a uniform magnetic field that will not be changing and A is the area of the coil. For these factors K, N, B, A all are constant, therefore you can write as G into alpha by cos alpha where G is your constant, galvanometer constant. For this moving coil galvanometer will help you to find the deflection produced due to the amount of current passing through your coil. For I you are taking as G alpha divided by cos alpha. Here you see the deflection is not directly proportional to I, there is a factor cos alpha. For that reason we have kept a radial magnetic field. Due to this radial magnetic field, this cos alpha term is equal to 1, for this magnetic soft iron core is kept to keep a radial magnetic field, for this magnetic lines of force are parallel to the coil, for now your equation is becoming I is equal to G alpha, where G is your galvanometer constant. Okay, now we saw, we saw I is equal to G into alpha, where G is your galvanometer constant that G you can write as K divided by N into B into A. For this G is your galvanometer constant, if you are writing here it will be K N B A by alpha. If I am taking alpha to this side I by alpha, I by alpha is equal to K N B A. For this I by alpha is called current sensitivity. Current sensitivity is alpha by I, then alpha by I from this formula you will be getting N B A upon K, where K is the constant and N is the number of N number of turns and B is the magnetic field and A is the area of the coil. For it depends directly proportional to number of turns, magnetic field and area and inversely proportional to the constant K. The same way voltage sensitivity is alpha by V that is N B A by K into R, where R is the resistance of that instrument current carrying coil. For alpha by V is directly, voltage sensitivity is directly proportional to 
n b a number of turns magnetic field and the area of the coil and inversely proportional to the constant k and the resistance in the coil. Now, we will see how to convert the moving coil galvanometer into ammeter and voltmeter. Conversion first we are going to do MCG into moving coil galvanometer into ammeter. Take this is your G galvanometer here the current take down A B you connect a shunt resistance yes shunt is the small resistance connected parallel to the galvanometer here the current is i and this side it is i minus here it is ig here it is i minus ig for how will you write I minus I G into S is equal to I G into G. For where S is the shunt resistance for I G into G divided by I minus I G. I G is the galvanometer current, I is the current flowing through this end and after that here a shunt is connected, a small resistance is connected parallel to your galvanometer. For then that way you will be converting moving coil galvanometer into ammeter. The same way you are going to convert MCG into voltmeter. Here you will be connecting a high resistance R in series with a galvanometer. Here you are connecting a small resistance in parallel. Here you will be connecting a high resistance in series. Then how will you write V by I G is you know V is equal to I R for V by I G is equal to R. What is the resistance in this arm? A to B, the to two resistances are connected in series, for G and R are connected in series, it will be R plus G. V by I G is equal to R plus G, then R is equal to V by I G minus G. With this we can convert a moving coil galvanometer into ammeter and moving coil galvanometer into voltmeter. The shunt resistance depends upon the galvanometer resistance and the current through the galvanometer directly proportional to galvanometer resistance and the galvanometer current. And here R is equal to V by I G minus G where G is your galvanometer resistance, V is the voltage and I G is the galvanometer current. Students, I will tell you how to solve the numerical based on this formula. You know here S is the shunt resistance connected in parallel to your galvanometer. In the numerical if they are asking for shunt resistance, here I G is the current for full scale deflection and G is your galvanometer resistance and I is the current in the galvanometer, range of the current and here R is the resistance connected in series to your galvanometer and V is the voltage and I G is the current needed for full scale deflection and G is your galvanometer resistance. With that you will be able to solve the numericals if it is given if they are asking you to calculate the shunt resistance you will substitute in the formula if they are asking you to find the resistance needed to convert the MCG to voltmeter you will be using this formula R is equal to B by IG minus G.